Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the Hypertherm PowerMax 30 Air. So, uh, in this video, we're going to go over what the options this thing comes with uh, consumables, the kits, uh, everything that comes in the package, and its rated output, and a little bit of general knowledge about the 30 Air. So, this has a built in air compressor. Um, the only one uh, in the industry that has a built in air compressor. Uh, so very portable. Obviously we don't have to have an air connection, we just gotta have a power connection, right? This thing will do 110 or 220. So just like the 30XP, the duty cycle on this, on 220 is 35% and on 110 is 20%. So that means you can run on 220 three and a half minutes out of a 10 minute window and that'll be your maximum duty cycle on the unit. Now, are you gonna be cutting for three and a half minutes? If everyone's ever tried it, it's a long time to be cutting. I'm just saying, not everybody does that. So the duty cycle, you should probably be great on this, not, not over exerting the machine itself. But in the box, we come with our user manual, our shoulder strap, a consumable kit or consumables for the torch, uh, our 110 adapter. I got the 220 adapter on there. And then it comes with your torch and your ground cable. So uh, pretty simple. Uh, what everything it comes with. So it does have a built-in air compressor and that has a air separator on the inside so it pulls moisture and oil out. Um, the only thing that I would say that needs to be serviced over time, um, but it goes off of how the quality of air it generates and Hypertherm stands by their units and says that they generate a very clean air so should be not should not be a problem. Three year warranty on this unit um, and then a one year warranty on the torch. So on the torch itself, and we'll go over, it's a 15 foot lead, not unpluggable, right? It's wired directly right in. Same thing with the ground, wired directly into the machine. So we're gonna pop the consumables out. I just wanna show you a little different. So comparatively to the 30 XP, they look different and they, they operate a little bit different. I'll, I'll shake them out of there. So there's your electrode. Now, if we notice anything about this, this is your, your drag shield, which is shielded from the electricity. Now, one thing I want to point out, to get that, that nozzle out, you got to push, and then the swirl ring actually has a little O-ring around it. So it seals down inside there. There's your nozzle and your retaining cap. So those are the consumables for the 30 Air. Same number of consumables, five consumables for this package. Um, and then just to put it all back together, nice grab that, drop the nozzle in push the swirl ring down in there because it has that o-ring and that's going to push against your nozzle flatten that out and then you drop your electrode in and then this goes back on the front just like that and then we put it all back together on the gun goes on now notice we have an error code it's in orange to clear that error code we got to cycle power we'll turn it off we'll turn it back on Cycles come or the air codes complete. So notice we got 15 to 30 amps where we can only cut a maximum on 120 20 amps and then a maximum on the 220 volt we can cut up to 30 amps. So just to give you a cut range on the two, uh, on 240 with the 30 air we can do 5 16 at 20 inches a minute, 3 8 10 inches a minute and it'll sever 5 8 Now that's on 220, that's that's on 220. So but if we drop down to 110, we're limited, right? We're gonna drop in duty cycle, we're gonna drop in cut capacity. So it drops down to 10 gauge material or roughly eighth inch. Um, you can do 30 inches a minute and then it goes up to quarter inch. You can do about 10 inches, or I'm sorry, about 15 inches a minute on that. And then severance is 3 8 on 110. Um, and it's gonna be slow on that. So just to give you a kind of a rough idea, um, when you go to 110, you, you can, you're gonna drop on cut capacity for sure. But if you're on 220, we recommend you always run on 220 because you're gonna get the maximum capacity out of this unit, uh, 5 16 and 3 8 no problem. So I got a couple of, you know, just in the field experience, I got several of these units out there and contractors actually are using them, they're running them on a generator. Um, so they run this unit. Now I recommend a 10,000 watt generator, but you could run something smaller. Um, the, the contractor that uh, we have using them, they're running 10,000 watt generators and they're using them and they are loving them. They plug them in the 220 on the generator. 
awesome because that that way they don't have to have an air compressor they don't have to have an air hose this thing generates all the power that it needs and they can cut and they're basically doing some sheet metal work and stuff like that so it works out great so another thing that we offer up to is a consumable kit so at the time of purchase this is 50 percent off when you purchase this 30 air i would buy the consumable kit so every time somebody gets out into the field they don't buy a consumable kit they only give you a limited number you dip the shield you wreck the nozzle you need another one right and then you don't have it so i recommend buying a consumable kit we'll open it open up i'll show you what's inside here so on the inside we got seven electrodes seven nozzles one drag shield swirl ring retaining cap all the part numbers are on the top lid so when you go to reorder easy to find them or you can just order another consumable kit um, but everything's already labeled out for you pretty nice you got a lot of extra so what i like to tell everybody is you know i i can't give you a time frame of how long these will last but i will tell you you're going to use more electrodes and more nozzles uh, than you will shields retaining and swirl ring just so you know because these are the two consumable items so this is generating the plasma and then the plasma is running through the tip that of that nozzle focusing that plasma so you're gonna burn through those faster than the others but i would buy a consumable kit it's a nice purchase for 50 percent off at the time now what i like about this unit is just pure portability right we don't need all the air we don't need a jet you know compressor we don't need air separators we don't need to worry about oil in our air it's generating it for us we just need a power supply and make sure our consumables are good and we're ready to rock so this thing comes with two different options. You can get the Billion America logo on the side or the General Hypertherm logo on the side. So it's two part numbers, but same machine, same output, same everything. It's just a different logo on the side. Um, but if you got any questions, comments, anything, please leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more.